everyone and welcome to Congolese music it's in me your humble servant patient with another tutorial on what we call seven I received so many messages via our Facebook page which is Congolese music uh, some of you asking me to do most of the tutorial on what we call seven I can guarantee you that in Congolese music you're not gonna be deceived because I have I think I can't, I can't even count the amount of seven that I have or that I can even impro improvise out of nowhere. Stay tuned and you will get more tutorial on seven in the coming weeks. The second part at the beginning are things we called uh, deux temps when you play seven. Like I said, deux temps has no musical meaning to it. I don't know who invented those terms, data, trois temps, and demi temps, whatever. But data is meaningless music wise. But if I want to explain it musically, I'm playing my tonic, which is my number one, and I'm playing my subdominant, which is the fourth, and I played my dominant, which is the fifth. So I'm playing as I'm, I'm just playing with the chords I'm using are one, four, five, four, one. I played I played those seven different keys, so I'll, I'll explain little by little. The first melody I played, I played in the key of E. So E becomes my tonic, it becomes my number one. And we know the tonic is also played with your subdominant and the dominant. In this case, E is my tonic, and A is my subdominant, and B is my dominant. Now the melody I played, I played it in the second octave of E. Remember, in the guitar, you have, like in the case of E, you've got six octaves. One, two, three, four, five, six. But here, I'm playing it on, my sec on the second octave here. This is the melody. Remember, it's one, four, This is the melody. So that was a, a, an introduction and after that I moved on the 7 on a bit higher octave. The octave I used here was the 4th one. One, two, three, four. here. Let me bring close so that you see the melody. That's the second melody. And then the third melody, if I can remember, I moved to an octave lower, which is the third octave, the one here. So here, what I played was this. I'm, I'm playing with my E string, my E string here. Remember, I'm holding this, my string of D on my B note here, which is my dominant, just my, my, my fifth. B is my fifth degree here. So I'm holding as a bass. Every time I play, I keep touching it. Listen carefully. So I keep 
playing all the time. Now, I try to add some other stuff in there, like things like I'm only playing with my third intervals from uh, here and I'm going backwards on a chromatic way. So the whole melody. Those three melodies are played in E, with here, here, and here. And then I moved from E to G. Now before I move, I play a trick in a, what we call a mixolydian scale or mixolydian mode, uh, if you want to be more technical, which is basically just using your dominant, which is your fifth degree. So using the notes of your fifth degree to kind of uh, change the key. This is this. I think if I can remember this, is what I played. So I was I was playing the melody. And then I done this. I want to show you closer that you see what, what I played. play slowly remember the dominant of G as D which is the fifth degree so I'm playing a little bit of uh, the dominant of my E and then I add the dominant of G straight away so that I change the key here's dominant for E and then there's a dominant for your G so this is this is what I played I'm always my G here now this was the melody I played in, in G I mean in G I played some kind of uh, you know intricate 7 let me bring closer that you see what I'm talking about. Now, when I play it, look, look at this arm. I keep doing this. That's where my melody comes from. Keep moving that movement, it's, it's what we call music duarte, like you know, you kind of make it your own. Um, obviously, when I'm playing those kind of stuff, I try to emulate, copy the elders, you know, people like Flam Kapaya, Mbokalia, you know, all those great, great Congolese guitarists. It's through the music that I'm trying to actually get some of the stuff that they played and combine them together. Nothing new. adding a minor or the sixth which is a minor <laughs> so I'm doing this then after get here I'll just play with my, my intervals I mean my, with my octaves So when I get here to do the G here, I'm playing a different melody again here. What I'm doing, I'm doing this. Let 
Let me bring it closer so you see what I'm talking about. But then after playing that melody, I want to go back to what we call me solo. You know, something between the rhythmic guitar and the solo guitar and uh, to do that I kind of played a weird trick I'm still using my dominant to change my melodies so here's the thing I played still using my dominant that's not my dominant it's, it's it, well, usually it's called a uh, mixed religion scale but here Let's play dominant because I'm using my, my fifth degree. That's that's a f the full of it. This is this is this that's the wee the wee melody I just picked from it to change my melody. Now here's the mi solo, very simple. Let me play the whole thing again, one by one. Thank you very much for watching. As you can hear, Congolese music is so beautiful. So, I mean, there's no way to describe, you know, the, the intricacy of it, the, the the groove that you get when you play it. Like I said, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. I always have a pleasure to come and share the little knowledge that we acquired throughout this, you know, time we've been playing the guitar. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Um, what you have to do is just keep practicing, practice those exercises that will improve your basics of playing guitar. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and I can guarantee you, you will never be deceived. I've got more seven coming up. I've got more tutorial on how to play, you know, good, proper, clean Congress music. So you can still follow our page on Facebook, which is still expanding with untold number of people coming to give us a hand with, you know, things like messages of encouragement, you know, some suggestion, feedbacks. And I want you to join us. Come along, give, give us your feedback. We really need you to support us and uh, so that we can promote the elegance, the beauty, and the intricacy of Congolese music. I'll catch you next time with another tutorial. 
restez toujours branchés. A plus. Au revoir. Goodbye.